flu season. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to Cyberpunk Tech, where technology never sleeps. Now for today we've got something pretty cool, um, it's definitely been done before and this is a review of the Corsair wireless RGB head gaming headset. One more thing guys before we get right into the video, do me a favor, smash that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, it would really help me out a lot. Tell me in down in the comments below if you enjoy the content that I'm doing, if you would like to see anything different on my channel. I know we're just beginning, but the goal is there and we will get right into the review. Let's go! Okay guys, so let's begin. So. The Corsair Void headset does not only feature great sound, but it's also got a very comfortable design with its ear-shaped ear cup, which is quite different from other headsets because they have changed the design of the ear cup to fit more naturally like the human ear. And personally, after using it for so damn long, I think it's comfortable enough for long gaming sessions, which is something lots of us do. Gaming sessions, productivity sessions, which is something that is quite great. Now, the fast forward design features light and compact weight. Again, the comfort gear cup. Of course, the RGB lights, which we will talk about soon. And some more other leading, leading edge technology. Now, Corsair refers to this as legendary audio with zero hassle, which I completely agree because it's wireless. You have the only thing that you need is you have your little dongle, which is connected to my PC, as well as the charging cable. Now, they say no hassle, which indeed is true, and it's got 7.1 Dolby Digital Audio, which sounds phenomenal, especially on this headset. And it's got, it says you can enjoy 2.4 gigahertz wireless freedom from about 40 feet away from your computer, which is quite nice because going throughout your apartment, going to grab a drink, whatever, it's quite nice to have without having to put your headset down missing a queue, for example, when your queue pops up, when your game loads, so that is quite nice. Now, according to Corsair, you can get up to 16 hours of uninterrupted game time in between charges. Personally, this is where I found it a bit of a hassle, because personally it does not last that long. I don't know if I am charging it wrong or I'm not doing something the way I'm supposed to, but it is not lasting me this long. I'm getting six hours, roughly, sometimes sometimes less. I, I don't know if it's based on me having a changing RGB pattern or I honestly don't know. But other than that, if I enjoy this headset, it's got great mids, great highs, quite some kick to it, and using the Corsair Utility Engine, you can change your equalizers a bit, you can change the bass, the treble, which is always quite nice. What I personally like about this headset is the rotating gear cups, which always, like, if you want to just put your headset down, which is quite nice, it rests right here over on your neck, which is always a plus. Now, if you have a slightly larger head, you can adjust the size of the head down. So, on the lowest setting, it is quite tight for me, so I normally have to go about one or two inches down. Um, the RGB, which I will talk about in a second, is quite limited, you can do a lot, and personally I would like to see a lot more, because the only place you get RGB is literally on the side of the ears, the ear cups, where they have their little Corsair logo. So, if I hold the power button, you can look in here, you can see it right now, but that's all the RGB you have. So for the extra money, between the RGB version and the non-RGB version, just the regular void. It personally is not worth it because it's not it's not even bright, it's not even it's it's not great lighting. Now, all the controls are over on the left of your cup. You have your power button, your mute button, and over on the bottom of the cup, you have your USB mini to charge it, and as well as a volume knob, which comes in quite handy because from what I've heard on the previous version is that they did have the controls over some of the controls on the USB dongle, which, again, more hassle. Now, yeah, personally, it's quite comfortable. Um, also, the microphone, the microphone is good. It is not phenomenal. I will do a sound test right away, but personally, I like keeping it slightly further away from my mouth because it picks up all my 
all the extra sound effects I make with my mouth when my lips are touching or breathing, I get to close. I will show you guys right away. And with the magic of editing, we will start recording. Hey guys, so this is what it sounds like with a Corsair Void wireless RGB. Um, this is roughly just slightly above my nose height from my mouth, so two, three inches. Now, how about we listen about when it's much closer to my mouth, like now. You can see me every time I swallow, every time my lips touch, so that is quite sensitive, which means overall that it is a good microphone and that it's picking up a lot of the noise, but I do not like all these harsh tss and shoes and it's... There, I breathe and it picks up everything, which ideally is what a good microphone does. But for ideal voice recording or just audio in general, you would like it further away from your mouth. Personally, I think for the money, I got it around Black Friday for about 70 Canadian dollars. Personally, I thought it was a steal because I always wanted something wireless so it wouldn't get in the way. I'd always put my headset down. And I'm glad I did pick this up because it sounds phenomenal. It's very comfortable, not gonna lie. Lots of people complained about it not being comfortable enough. But to me, it does the job. And the microphone is also not too bad because I don't know if you guys have noticed, I have used it for the recordings in some of my previous videos because the camera microphone, the built-in microphone to my camera is not that phenomenal. So I am hoping that this was a good review for you guys. I'm hoping that you can see my input, which is not really biased because I'm not sponsored. I haven't used a lot of other high-end headsets. I've used like low ones from, I don't know, Walmart, Best Buy, like max $50 because I never figured it would be something that I would invest into. So I am trying to reach the average consumer. Nobody that does phenomenal gaming that needs Sennheisers or whatever else. So I am hoping you guys enjoy the video.